That being said, we're pretty dead to Resto and to Kiki here with Spellskite. You want something to play with, bud? You want this? You want to hold on to that? Kiki Cord's worst matchups are the spell-based combo decks. Um, Snap Leak? Yeah. Man, I really don't want to draw this Lone Missionary. It's really bad. It explains why he snapped off the leak on the scoos and see so a snapcaster in his hand. Uh, dramatic entrance leaves the creature in play. Through the breach, sacrifices at an end step. It gives it haste, but it sacrifices at an end step. So dramatic entrance leaves it in play. I've never considered that as a card for modern, so that could be neat. I think I want to shock myself for that. Let's gain some life here. Uh, I'm going to ship with Courser because if he blocks with Spell Sky, I'm going to Helix it. Do I want to run into Resto here? I think I'm going to ship once here and not let him know we have the Helix because if he has Resto, he'll play it this turn regardless. Path my spell skate, sure. That's not awful. Oh, that that was a mistake. I should have Helix his spell skate after he cast the path. So that was, I, I was kind of clicking too quickly there and wasn't uh, thinking about what I wanted to be doing. So that's unfortunate, because I wanted him to counter this if possible, so that way we could play Fulminator and kill this Hollowed Fountain on his turn. Snap this trade off. That's great. I'm going to shock myself for this so that way I can play Fulminator plus. Uh, I'm going to start by attacking with Courser here. So we're going to play this and kill his Hollowed Fountain if it resolves. Uh, this deck plays a bunch of four and five mana things, so we really don't want to play Collected Company. I don't really like Collected Company in any decks, so like it's pretty high variance. So we're going to kill this. And then uh, during my end step, we're going to Helix the Spell Sky. If he doesn't float mana, we're going to Helix it now. Floating blue. Sure. This, this wall of omens on top of our deck makes the resto in our hand get a lot better. Ghost quartering himself. Sure, man. What are the odds there's more than one planes in his deck? What are, what are, I don't think there's a very likely chance that he has more than one planes in his deck. So, uh, I'm, okay, so we're going to move to end step here. I'm going to helix his spell skite. And I think I'm going to ghost quarter this planes. I'm pretty sure that's what I want to do with my life. I think he's likely not to have another one. If he paths us here, I'm not going to search because uh, I want this wall of omens. He might like helix me in response, like gain some life. That would be great for us. Yep. 
Yep, sweet. It's like double killing my spell sky? Fine. I guess I should have done this during his upkeep to prevent what he just did. So that was a small mistake on my part. Sacred Foundry. Yes. Wall. Draw this Court of Calling. Yes, please. So what do I want to cord for here? I think I'm just passing since we can't attack in. No, I need land. Play Rusto and instep here. Can trip my Rusto. Oh, my child fell asleep. I like how my wife watching the stream realized that my child, our child was sleeping before before I did. He's such a tired little nugget boy. You're passing. This is so good. Why would you pass this? Now I don't have to draw this stupid fetch land. Now I get to draw Kiki? Is that even fair? Yes. And there's a cord on top of my deck? <laughs> Can we lose? How do we lose? I'm sure there's a way we can lose, but like, I'm feeling pretty good right now. All right, so we're moved to end step. We're gonna kiki my, I guess I don't need to kiki my, we're gonna kiki wall of omens during his upkeep. I guess we'll wait till his end step. Oh, he's only got one card in his hand? <laughs> I'm sure there's a way we can lose this game, but I'm I'm not certain of it. Is it involves a wrath here? You're just like dead. You're dead to yeah, sure, man. So GG. Yeah. So we got him. Uh, we're playing three voices currently. You can find links to the deck list below the stream. Nah, I mean, our opponent's dead. He, he said GG's in chat. He's probably writing something. I appreciate all the new follows, folks. Looks like there's a few more. I see Pikachu running in the background. Uh, our opponent has no cards in hand. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna pass this guy. It's fine. What are the best sideboard cards against Kiki Cord? The singular best card is probably Graph Digger's Cage because it turns the cords off. But like the deck's still like a reasonable deck full of mag a deck full of reasonable magic cards without Cord of Calling. So like unless they just draw all of their cords, you're still you're still pretty screwed. Kiki my Wall of Omens. Draw a card. He's not going to concede. I'm going to play all my value stuff or draw all these magic cards. Look at all these magic cards we're drawing. It's so good. All right. Cord for one, two, three, four. Do, do, do. Is Torpor Orb? Yeah, Torpor Orb probably fine. The, okay, see, so the problem with Torpor Orb is you just cord for Quasily Pride Mage and kill the Torpor Orb. So that's why Graph Digger's Cage turns off the cords, which is nice.
should be lethal. Grrr. I mean, so like, so people always say like, timing out's legitimate strategy, and you'll hear me saying that timing out is legitimate strategy too, because it is. But like, in the context of this game, it made no sense for him to try and time me out. Um, this is game three. Uh, he has 10 minutes on his clock. I have three minutes more on my clock. The only time you'll ever see me try and time someone out is if their clock is lower than mine and we aren't in the last game. All he's doing is wasting all of our time and his time. Like, he's streaming too. So, like, he's just wasting everyone's watching his stream time as well. So, like, trying to time someone out only makes sense if them timing out is a reasonable possibility, which in this case, it wasn't a reasonable possibility for us. All right, let's see if we can snag the old 5-0 with the Kiki Core deck, the 61 card deliciousness. It's been instantly paired. Why would you try and make someone time out? Um, because we're playing for prizes. It's just like, why Why would you play for a draw in, you know, like you don't have to concede just because you're gonna draw in Paper Magic. Um, you can win matches of Paper Magic 101. Like the clock is part of the game. The clock affects the game differently on Magic Online than it does in paper, but the clock is very much part of the game. The only reason to make your opponent go through the combo is there's oh there's two reasons one you don't understand what their combo is doing and you want to see them play it out two you're trying to time them out i guess three or you're not paying attention like that that could be a reason too i suppose but man turn two voice against steam vents usually delicious all right i'm gonna try and transplant my son uh to storm yeah storm all right So main deck Eidolon, so we're we're getting to a cord as fast as we can. We could theoretically just be dead next turn, which is unfortunate. I suppose this is supposed to get a stomping ground in case uh, we draw the Kiki Jiki naturally. It's like we could we could just die here we're gonna f6 and, let him, and okay, here's another reason to make your opponent play their combo out, i guess which we're listing reasons he might not be able to kill us so you know but like the twin combo or resto combo like you know obviously you're going to die to that so yeah so he's playing his second ritual so i assume we lose the game here Yeah, so Ascension's online. We get more uh, more interactive here post board for sure. You know, this is why Storm's a good deck. Sometimes they just your opponent can't interact with you. Fetch before playing wall there. It's really super small. Yeah, Storm's a part of Magic, man. That's why you get three games. Watch him do his thing. 